Hello, everyone, and welcome. Great. Okay, I see that someone is on. Hello and welcome. Uh, today is day 18 of our self-love boot camp challenge. Uh, this particular challenge is being hosted by MIDC, Multicultural International Development Company. In particular, um, the WE Network, Women's Empowerment Network is the actual host. And it's been quite a pleasure uh, to be on for the last 18 days with you. And I just want to thank everyone for continuing to join in. Uh, my name is Dr. Karen Dade, and I am an educator of cross-cultural uh, studies, as well as uh, arts and education. And as most of you know, I combine those things um, for us to be able to focus in on creative ways that we can better love ourselves so that it can strengthen us in ways to help others. And so um, today I'm in a very meditative mood. I hope that you are as well because we're going to be doing a group meditation together. And for those of you who have been on fairly regularly or um, watching the recorded uh, videos, uh, you're pretty well aware now of the different uh, kinds of ways that we can activate our energies um, and meditation techniques. And so I'm going to kind of get to it um, right away today so that we can have all of that time together. And when I say that we're going to do a group meditation, I do have an intention in mind that I'd like to talk to you about. But as always, I like to just recap what we do from the day before and how that then ties in for uh, today's session. And so uh, once again, I also want to thank uh, Konami Chisholm uh, for um, helping us to learn more about organic gardening. And um, as we talked about gardening uh, metaphorically yesterday, that it's planting the seeds within us to watch those seeds grow and flourish and thrive um, in the areas for which we desire and, uh, and connecting it actually to um, true nature and plant life and how um, fresh produce as well as we talked about herbs. We talked about flowers uh, to create a floral essences to calm our beings. In fact, um, I just I brought a couple of these just for myself. Um, and you heard Konami talk about when we grow, for instance, geranium, um, and we can turn that into a spray. We can do this ourselves. We don't always have to. Uh, spend money. If we're beginning our physical gardens, um, we can begin to grow these quite easily. So um, what I have here, and I always have different oils and things um, as well, but this is geranium rose. And so I made sure today to um, just put that on um, the third eye and just around uh, me as well, just for a more calming spirit. Um, I've asked uh, Marion uh, Sedino to uh, do our post today to ask everyone to find a quiet space um, somewhere where you can also be comfortable if you want to sit on a pillow or um, however you want to be able to do that. Um, to, li to light a candle, if you, if you do have candles at home, to light a candle um, just to bring about... Um, peaceful energies are around you, right? Um, so I also have lavender. We showed some of the lavender that's growing outside of the house and how right now it's time to reap the lavender seeds. And then we talked about putting them into 
uh, sachets and being able to even put it under your pillow to have peaceful sleeps at night, peaceful sleep at night. So um, I'm hoping that you're gathering all of these things and you're putting them together so that you can begin to develop your own programs for which you can on a daily basis uh, practice uh, self-love, uh, peace, and meditation. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show that I had lavender today. I put the lavender um, right here on my uh, wrist, which is very receptive. It's a very receptive um, area. It goes right to the skin and to the body for relaxing. So if you're hearing me in a very relaxing tone, it's because I've used my oils today. Um, I also use activation kinds of uh, florals. This is what I use for uh, crown chakra. And we've talked about our chakras and how our highest point chakra is here at the crown, right? And so um, I will usually just put this on uh, the top of my head there just for clearing, right? Um, and in fact, I'm going to do a clearing exercise before we begin our um, meditation. And I, um, and again, I want to thank everyone for going ahead to join us. Um, today, I would like to begin with um, something I want us all to, to hear. You may have seen it already, but that's okay. Without any words, I'd like for us to just close our eyes and we're going to take in um, three. Sorry. Okay. And so we're going to take in three um, deep breaths just uh, to calm our spirits. And as you do that, I want you to envision, we're doing meditation um, using visualization today, um, along with imagination. And so um, I would love for you just to close your eyes even before we get started with everything. We're going to take in um, three deep breaths. And so we're gonna inhale for the count of four, hold the breath for four, and then exhale. You'll inhale through the nose and hold, and then you'll exhale through the mouth. And make sure that you are exhaling all of the air that you can, using your core to let that go. I hope that everyone is sitting in a comfortable position at this particular time period. And uh, let us begin. I, I will just talk to you in this soft tone. You can close your eyes just for a moment and I'll guide you through um, the breathing exercise. So let us inhale in the count of four. One, two, three, four. Envision that 12 year old boy and I'm, I hope that you heard his message. He just wants to live. And exhale that out. Exhale that out. Count of four. Again, a nice deep inhale. Hold. 
Hold your breath and envision that young man once again and his message to us. And exhale. One more time with your eyes closed, inhaling through your nose, nice and deep, on the count of four. Hold your breath. Visualize that young man once again. And then exhale all of that energy. So I think by now um, you may have realized that today, although we're always about self-love, in our self-love boot camp. Um, today, as, as always, we are strengthening ourselves so that we can not only become stronger and more empowered, but um, we, we do that so that we can be of um, significant help in the world, so that we can be strong enough to help others. And now more than ever, um, is a time for us to collectively begin to uh, combine our energies uh, and serve peace and love, forgiveness, strength, endurance, joy, all of these different um, things that are so necessary right now to pull us up out of the place where we're at from the standpoint of the world that we're in. And so I'm not only talking about the uh, pandemic, which really helped to get this started, that, hey, we need to collectively start working together and um, from this aspect of self-love so that we can um, not only survive, but thrive in this world of ours. And so there's so many things going on right now. Um, we have the pandemic, but we also have, uh, you know, so many uh, black men, especially um, continuing uh, to be murdered in this very country. And for me, it puts me in a very solemn mood from a standpoint that I think back on the very first book that I ever wrote and published through Students' Eyes, Combating United States, um, Combating Racism in United States Schools. And in that um, preface or introduction, I named off... Um, a whole, it was a long litany of black men that had lost their lives that year. And you know, that was 1989. And every book I've published since then, I continue to have these long lists. And so what that tells us, right? And if we just look back from the standpoint of 500 years, and I'm talking basically uh, from my um, culture's experience, that um, no matter what we've done, no matter the strides that appear to have happened, these, thing, these things are still going on. Um, when I talk about these things beyond my own culture, when I think about babies uh, being detained and losing their lives because they're um, seeking um, a place where they can be safe in the world, um, we can just name so many different things that are going on right now where it could be really uh, discouraging for us. It could really fade away the hope that we continue to try to have. And so what the elders are calling on now throughout the world, um, there are many collectives right now, they're asking us whether or not if we have uh, religious uh, affiliations and we do this in prayer, or if we do this in chant, as the monks often do, 
or if we do this through collective meditation, it's going to take all of that energy to rise above um, the challenges of the world today. And so, uh, again, I want to be very intentional with this. I decided today that I would use um, a, a uh, indigenous people's, First Nation people's um, uh, ways of being able to call our ancestors and our greater spirits in for help because we really do need need that, right? Um, and so one of the things that I would like to do, I don't know if some of you um, sage or if even if you know what you know sage is. I fortunately live in the um, Pacific Northwest. At least I've lived there now for the past eight years. And I've had a lot of wonderful exposure um, to uh, many indigenous um, people and elders uh, within the community uh, that I live. And so it's through that that I know for centuries and centuries, um, native people have used sage for clearing for clearing away uh, negative energies and calling in our ancestor spirits to not only um, to guide us, but give us the strength um, to be able to uh, make a difference in the world. And so Sage is one. I also have some Palo Santo here. I had the opportunity in 2014 to do a women's retreat in uh, Peru, Sacred Valley. And uh, the maestra, she uh, was a shaman and used a song uh, to, we talked about, we had a session on frequency, if you remember. And just uh, for hours and hours and hours singing and chanting and that frequency in and of itself uh, really helped to connect the mind, body, and soul, and to become much more directed uh, to the path uh, that we have. And so the I don't um, promote buying, going out and buying Palo Santo now because um, so many people are doing that, that it um, has deplenished um, the, um, the forest and uh, by taking the Palo Santo uh, wood. So this just happens to be a piece that before I became conscious of that, um, I had the piece. So I am going to clear this for all of us, okay? Um, it has a very beautiful smell, but it's even stronger for clearing negative energies. So I would suggest if you're wanting to do that in meditation, do use sage. We can grow uh, sage um, and we can um, put our sage up for offerings so that our ancestors will help to bless the sage as well. Um, so this kind of smoke from both sage and the Palo Santo will usually, um, again, the smoke is very, very powerful for clearing. So this is what I'm doing right now. And this is for all of us. Even though I'm online, I'm feeling like you're right here with me, right? Okay. And I am, for our meditation today, going to put on some soft uh, Native American flute music to take us through. So I want you to now get into your comfortable positions. I'm going to take a look to see what people are saying, if they're all um, with me as I go through. Oh. How wonderful. Great. Oh, we have a lot of wonderful people on today. Um, some of which uh, I haven't seen join before. So I do have to say that for the past 17 days, we've been pretty upbeat with a lot of the different uh, kinds of strategies and techniques that we've had. We've gardened, we've danced. Um, we have, um, we've, we've, use frequency, sound, music, um, art, all kinds of other things. But today I'm really wanting to, because we're just a little over half point um, through the 30 days, 30 days, 30 minutes a day, because we're just a little bit over that, I'm just feeling like it's time to 
um, come together collectively in a very um, soft tone, mellow, calming atmosphere so that we can begin to visualize um, and put into uh, the planet right now um, all the love uh, that it needs. Mother Earth needs love because we're talking about the climate change and all of the things that, are, that we're doing to the Earth that are basically we're destroying our Earth by not knowing how to preserve it. So Mother Earth is calling on us. We are calling on Mother Earth. We are calling on our ancestors. We're calling on all of the um, uh, spiritual energies uh, that can help us to become stronger. All right. Um, so I'm just going to put on some music and I'm, I'm peeking as I'm doing that to make sure that everybody's checking in. Okay, so is everyone in a comfortable position? One moment of silence. And my hands are on my knees. Again, you can choose to have your hands on your heart. You can um, call for the energy by placing your hands up where we're giving and we're receiving. And all of this I want you to visualize, okay? So your eyes are closed. I'm speaking to you. And we're about to start. I want you to feel your toes, just to wiggle them a little bit. And feel the energy traveling from your toes, through your arches, through the heel of your feet, and your ankles. This is all positive energy that we're calling on, traveling through the calf muscles, the knees, your thighs, just feeling the energy rise, just coming up, and you're breathing all the while. Feel the energy at the base of the spine. That is our root chakra. Let us be connected. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine that you are sitting under a very, very old, old tree. This tree has been there for thousands of years. The roots are very deep into the earth and you feel very comfortable there, resting against that strong and mighty tree. And as our root connects to the root, of this tree, we feel empowered. We feel great power. Feeling now that powerful energy from the earth, from the root chakra, travel to our sacral chakra, and that's filled with fire and let that fire ignite and that energy become even stronger filled with peace love 
and mighty energy. Let that energy come to the belly, to our solar plexus, and feel that energy. Remember the colors that we talk about, like the colors of the rainbow. So that's yellow, that's our willpower right there. And I want you to will yourself to be able to relax and to take in this powerful meditative exercise today to re-energize us. We move to the heart. The heart is compassion and love and is the seat of all of our spiritual and ancestral secrets that we've been opening for the past 18 days. We're taking that love and we're moving that love through the through to the throat chakra for which we can use our voices to speak in kind and loving ways, not only to ourselves, but to all others in our lives and throughout the world. And as we rise now to our third eye, I say first eye as well, this is our intuition. And so just think that all of that energy from toes now to the, to the forehead has traveled and you're feeling that energy in some very, very peaceful ways. You're breathing calmly and you're visualizing, resting right there in that tree. And that tree, it's a wise old tree. It has seen so many things on the planet long before we ever came to the planet. And so we're protected there. Feel that protection and that love. As our energy then comes to our crown chakra and we feel this sense of energy turning into this powerful ball of magnificent light. Truly powerful, truly powerful. And let that light then become the aura all around us that will protect us in so many different ways. And so I want you to now breathe in very deeply. And when you exhale, I want you to feel that energy going all the way from your feet to the top of your head. And then when you exhale, I want you to bring that light back down through the body, back down to the root. Okay, let us do that together. We're going to inhale very slowly, inhaling. And now feel that light all around you, the top of the head, and take that light into the body. By exhaling it, it flushes the body. Exhaling out. One more time, I want you to inhale. This time I want you to feel the energy coming only on the right side of your body. So you'll pull that energy from your um, tip of your toe, right on that right side. You're going to inhale that all the way up. You'll feel that energy and then I want you to exhale that energy down through the left side. And so this is what's going to take some visualization. Remember you're leaning on that tree and guess what? That tree is actually, you don't even have to, there should be no anxiety around. Your everywhere studio. I hate when it does that. Music. Use it on any device, anywhere, with anyone. Okay. Music making is in our blood. Let me do that for a minute. Okay. So we're going to, again now, inhale on one side, on your right side, all the way up. And then we're going to exhale 
all the way down on the left side. We ready? Inhale. And exhale. Down the left side of your body. And you should truly be feeling this energy. So this is why I'm trying to talk in a very calming voice. And, um, and I hope that you're in a comfortable place. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to take that energy from our left side by inhaling from the root of our tree and then bringing it all the way to the crown of our heads and then taking that light, that energy, that powerful energy, that powerful, peaceful and loving, self-loving energy and exhale that through the right side of our bodies, okay? So we inhale up. And we're going to exhale out on the right side. And now I'm hoping, now let's open our eyes. I'm hoping that you are in a very uh, relaxed, um, you're feeling much more relaxed and calm. And so now I want to um, use some imagination to be able to address um, some of the things that I mentioned early on in our meditation, that there's so many things going on in the world. Um, we need to uh, project our positive, loving energy throughout the world. And believe it or not, um, you know, we're not going to necessarily see immediate results as um, we would hope to want to see, um, but it's planting uh, the seeds. And the more seeds we plant, the more this is going to grow collectively. And so what I want you to imagine right now, you can close your eyes again. I want you to imagine that we are on a planet filled with peace and love and joy and happiness. That we feel trust, we feel safe, we feel free. What does that feel like? with all of the energy that you now have um, throughout the body and even extending out into an aura. What does that feel like to feel at peace, to feel love and to project that love in the world? Right now, here and now, I want you to see yourself planting seeds of love and peace and joy and justice. The earth is calling, our elders are calling, let us plant our seeds. So imagine that we're in the garden that we were in yesterday and we're all in that garden together and we're all planting seeds. So open your eyes. I know that we're coming to a close. It's getting a little late, but I want you to imagine, just take your hand and it's all through imagination, but as you're doing it, I want you to believe that it's real. Okay. If you can believe it, you can conceive it. You can make it happen. And so does everyone have their hands and their seeds? I don't know. All of those seeds should be the most positive seeds that you can think of. And we're going to plant them right now together. And again, you've collected all of this energy. This is a powerful time because we're doing it collectively. It's very, very powerful 
Um, and it's our response. And if we practice this every day uh, to, again, we've been practicing self-love to um, help us to become stronger beings in the world. We're beings having a human experience and we're trying to take this to some higher levels, realizing how powerful we are so that we can become more empowered to make the changes that we need uh, so much in the world. So everyone, just take your hands, yes, and let us just plant 12 seeds of love, okay? So actually do it. Act it out with me in imagination, right? So let's plant a seed here for love. And I want to look and see, I'd love to see people um, giving, uh, calling out the seeds that they are planting so I can recite them aloud for all of us, okay? So I just planted a seed of love um, for our planet, okay? Can I see some other calling out of seeds? I'll plant another seed for asking help from our elders, our ancestors. We'll plant another seed for having faith. We're planting this all around our tree. Okay, I see another seed for planting for peace. Let us plant that. Okay, I see another seed for knowledge. Let us plant that. See the seed, see the earth, see the roots, see how it's going to take root as a collective. I see another seed for prosperity. Let us plant that. I see another seed for love for ourselves, peace, and one another. Let's plant our seed. I see another seed for trust. Let us plant our seed. I see another seed for strength. Let us plant our seed. I'd like to plant a seed for resilience. I'd like to plant a seed for positive change. And I'm still looking for others to call out some additional ones. I'd love for everyone to call out at least one seed. A seed for light. A seed for awareness. A seed for love and light. A seed for healing. Okay, and you can continue to plant those seeds for transformation. I see a seed for planting happiness. I see a seed for planting vision. Okay, so we're going to fast for, oh yes, wonderful, a seed for purpose. Now, I want you to fast forward this. I want you to see that the seeds that you have just planted, they're all growing around you. All of these seeds are growing around you, around us. 
and we're now able to harvest the seeds that we've planted. They're harvesting in us. So co collect all of your harvest. Collect all of your harvest. Very gently collect all of your harvest. All of those wonderful things that we've talked about. You have them all in your hand. I want you to take all of that wonderful harvest that's going to continue to empower us and build the self-love that we need in this world today. And I want you to wash yourself with it. Feel as though it is just coming all through the body, all of those beautiful seeds that have harvested and they're now a part of us. They're all of our branches. And so as we sit at the root, I want you to know that you have all of the power, not only in your hands, but in your being and live your life with that. So as things seem to be in such a bad way these days, you have all of these things that overpower that. And that is our strength to give back to the world and the world is going to very seriously. We are on the verge for a mighty transformation and we need to be a part of it as a wise uh, collective. So we're actually joining in with so many other collectives right now in this exercise that we've done. And so I just want to thank all of you, Asante Sana, uh, for participating today. I know that we've really brought this down a bit um, by way of, it's been a different kind of energy and a different kind of work on ourselves today, but it was so needed. I want you to use all of that strength that you've collected and it's still growing in these branches and everyone who you touch gets that energy. Everyone who you think about gets that energy for all of the things that are going on in the world. When you're bringing that to mind and heart, you're able to give that um, energy, all of the, that energy back to um, all of us in need of it. Uh, so, with that today, I want you to carry that. Um, uh, tomorrow we'll be back with our higher energy, but I would really love it if it's possible. You've been asking me how to meditate. I would ask you to add this form of meditation um, for the remaining time period that we're gonna have together. So like I said, this is day 18, we have 30 days. So find the time and space for 10 minutes a day. And I'm not talking about the self-love meditation that we talk about in the morning and the evening meditation where we're very intentional on how we want to improve on our goals and desires. I'm talking about now a collective meditation. Okay, so find the time each day until the end of our 30 days at least to do this similar type of meditation. Can everybody do that? Yes, many people are working along with us. And that's that's coming from Marion, who's in Venezuela. And she is so much a part of, um, she actually, she's just been initiated um, in uh, the Buddhist religion. And they are praying heavily. So we have many, many people out here doing this. And I'm so glad that our circle has been willing to do it as well. Um, so we've extended uh, for today that extra 15 minutes that uh, Mary Jones has uh, asked for. And I, I think that it's so necessary. Um, so let's not, um, again, uh, be so centered on how I know that our hearts are deeply uh, hurting because of the things that we're seeing that are just so unjust in the world. 
Um, but again, now you have something to um, not only counter that, but change it and trans and transform it. And you are the change agents of the world that we seek. You are the wise ones. So with that, I want to close. Um, let us call our names, give power to our names, and just tell ourselves we love ourselves. But in addition today, I want you to call another name besides your own and um, give the love to that person that may be in need of that love. Okay? So say out your full names. You ready? Karen. So I'm calling mine, and you're calling yours at the same time, and then you're going to let yourself know how much you love you and appreciate you. So Karen, Bernadette, Cardoza, McLean, Dade, I love you so very much for being so patient with me um, when I fall short of things, um, when I know I should be doing things that are going to help to make a change and I just make excuses. So thank you, thank you for moving me to this, to doing this 30 day um, boot camp for self love. I thank you, Karen. I thank my mother, Marie Elizabeth Cardoza, for bringing me into this world and for um, just raising me in such a way that I can appreciate myself, life, and others. Ashe. Ashe. We'll end today and we'll pick up again tomorrow. And let this just be a mellow day for the rest of your day. Some of you are on Eastern Time. It's 9 o'clock. Just for everyone tonight, I want you to really stay in this vibration that you've created around yourself, the energy that you've created around yourself. I want you to just be very mellow with that, very centered um, in that love today for you, um, and very centered on projecting that love on to um, all of the um, challenges that we're having in the world today. Bless you all and see you tomorrow. Ashe.